Hello, Norman Newitz here again. Today I'm going to be changing the front uh, left hand side. We're in Australia, so this is the passenger side um, handle. Now, what I've done is I've got a new one, and that's the details of it. Uh, and I really just bought this off eBay. The other side. Uh, the driver's side or the right hand side um, went I uh, broke a, a number of uh, years ago and what actually happens is what happens is there's a little clip under here which holds uh, the wire for opening the door the door mechanisms and that breaks because it's all plastic and I, I do remember I got a, a second hand one from the scrap merchants that was quite close to us in Adelaide and boy it was quite expensive and to be fair it was off a 2010 so I'm expecting you know in three four five years time because that obviously the driver's door is used a lot to go again um, but these were I think I paid about 32 dollars Australian dollars off eBay um, and I can't remember, I was probably double that and more for the other side. So, I'm going to take this apart. This is just on clips. Um, I've got some uh, uh, things to take, get under here and take that off and disconnect this. And then there's a couple of screws. So, I'll do that first and then, and then what should happen, it should all just lift up. Um, there might be a screw in the back here to keep that. But, yeah, see that will come out there. See that there? that should pop out and then that should give me another screw but I've got these um, plastic grip things here to get in behind stuff and not to uh, to don't poke don't poke uh, your screwdrivers in there I mean these things are really really cheap and they're kind of disposable because if you break the ends and stuff throw them away and get some more but don't be poking um, screwdrivers and stuff down the back because the, 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 the the habit is get one of them, oh yeah we'll pop that in there but they can really do some damage. Okay so I'll get back to you, bye for now. Okay so this is where we're at, that was in there, there's two clips at the top and the bottom, start with the top one, push it in and then unclick that, unclick that, um, clip this up because that's the clips that was like there as you can see just push them in and push them up and then it should just take it right out so there's two bolts there um, and I think it, it should all just pop up now um, I can't remember if there's a screw in behind here or not but I'll, I'll have a play I'll have a play and see okay but that's very easy slacking these bolts uh, luckily I've got one of these 10 mil. take these out and then the, th the whole mechanism should just push up this this might be bolted in um, separately that's actually bolted to the door as you can see in there and that's the mechanism that pulls the door catch here okay so uh, now there was a fascia here just unclip that, two clips, that's the back of it, just in case unclipping it, so unclip that, uh, I took out this which I, I didn't really need to do because I could get the catches from the back side there, uh, as you can see I can get the catches from back here, from in here, uh, I didn't really need to take that off but that exposes another 10 mil. but what you've got to remember is you'll have to disconnect your speaker when you pop it up because it all it should just lift out there might be clips around here a number of those popper clips so you might have to push them out as well so let's do that first so that is the side panel off okay so you didn't have to disconnect your speaker because it was just the speaker cover that was on there uh, I'm going to take advantage and give this a clean, but just make sure all your deafenings together now. If I'll poke a screwdriver in there, see that there? 
that is the problem that is exactly how I thought it would be because they're always this if they're not this they're the whole mechanism you've got to disconnect um, all of this and take all this off and, and pop in a brand new one of these um, I've actually got one of them because the problem I had previously I thought it was that and I bought one and, and I didn't need it but I've got one see and it's just totally missing that there so I'll take that screw out and there should be another screw around here somewhere uh, I think there's a couple of screws no they push clip in so you take that and then just slip the whole thing out but I'll go over to don't shut that door now I mean, have, I mean it will open so this is a fine opportunity to give this a dust make sure all your deafening's right all your um, foam for your around your speakers all your clips are there because that's the clips that was at the bottom of your car make sure you've got all them there all your deafening uh, I'm going to give that all a brush and then sorry about that and then I'm just going to give it all clean you might as well give it a dust when you've got it off because it's so much easier you know because there's loads of dust gets in here in behind I'll just give it all a bit of a clean give it a bit of a hit with a polish so anyway we will now take that screw off and put that in I mean like I say oh dear dear no I mean, I've broken that one um, that's not ideal where that is I might have to swap one from say down lower and swap it up to there um, yeah I never noticed that okay I'll get back to you so that's the new one in disconnect this put the ball put the ball in there first before you insert um, that and then just pull it out and pull, push that in um, because there's a bit of tension on this wire obviously screw it up, put it in push it forward so that these other clips here clip in, that one screw, pretty much done what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out I'm going to get a pair of pliers and pull it out and swap that with one of the other ones um, and pretty much you put it back together again I'm just going to get a brush and give us all a brush because I'm in here anyway but that is the and if you can see it's certainly moving that and it's pulling that forward easy peasy ok let's do it oh and that was the other one that fell out and that was what was broken always the same come on Nissan it's plastic how long do you think they're going to last you know just totally sheared the whole thing off um, plus they look really good but this one was uh, it was D um, plasticking is it, if that's a word and I had to put an, uh, an elastoplast over the top here to stop us from getting our hands cut so just as well it went I mean it had to be cut done anyway okay so if you like it like leave a comment if you want to leave a comment um, but very easy I mean I've spent more time on the video than I have actually doing it bye for now so I'm just about to put this on I've given it a polish with um, or a spray with 303 protectant I'll finish off down here um, I just need to get it on um, just line everything up make sure your holes here have lined up and just gently pop all them back in two screws screw for there uh, back fascia uh, for there first and then there because like I say this is the one you should have taken out to give you access to that screw you didn't have to take this one but I did I've left that on to stop us from scratching um, and pretty much don't lose this I've given all the inside uh, a clean uh, with 303 I would clean all this and you know the, all the bits and bobs you know before you actually fit all for everything in uh, but pretty much I'm lined up there lined up there like I say I broke one up here so I've moved one from down here somewhere the little white plastic to pop it in there nah, that's just uh, I suppose you can get them from if you're in the UK Halfords and stuff and I'm in Australia you get them from 
super cheap autos or Retco or some of those kind of places um, but I'm very happy now in the back here right down my window I've put in uh, the silicon spray in fact you can just see some residue on there that's just a uh, because it's like a sponge just here uh, and I just it makes your electric windows um, uh, uh, move a bit better so I'm just going to give it all spray and I'll give it all clean uh, I'll get the WD-40 and stuff in there as well um, and just spray everything up when I'm here give this a polish and a clean give that a clean around there anyway just when I've got the stuff off so this time I'm signing off like like um, make a comment if you make a comment um, forward on if you know somebody that's got a Nissan Pathfinder 2008 that's got these handles not working.